The roots of the tree of death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Go to the shards. Go to the shards. Go to the shards. What's the shard? Find it. It's the metal. Where is it? Find, Find it. it. There it is. Focus. It's the shard. Focus. Focus. Use your eyes. Look. Get closer. A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn. And it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes, and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. the trials, like when we first met, remember? Wait there. I'll find you. I'll get with you. You have to find him. This is your mission. Find him. You have to use everything you have and find him. Get him back. He's just there. How could you lose him? How could she lose him? How could she? Find him. You remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. Focus. Use your mind. Where's he gone? He's disappeared. 
You don't recognize it. Don't doubt yourself, you'll never find it. She doesn't recognize it. Yes, you do, you know where you are. She doesn't. Listen for his voice. It's not him. It's not him. We told you. We told you it was a trick. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through you. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. The chief no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! It's done. We did it, but there's more. There's more. You're tired, but you have to keep going. There's still more. It's not going to be easy. Can you do another one? It's too much. Have you the energy? She hasn't got the energy. No. Too much to do. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than forty and many older, and where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Where are we? 
I don't like it. This place feels... What is this place? This place feels... It's... Creepy. Creepy. It feels wrong. It feels strange. Where is it? There he is. There Did he is. is. The light. Go towards it. He's in the house. He's Silent. going in. He's disappearing. Follow him. Don't let him disappear. He is. Where's he gone? Keep going. How do you find him? <laughs> it's just a trial. It's a test. Like the old warrior trials. Do you will help me? The stench of rot. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. To the water. She could taste the rot. But no one else could. She knew something was wrong. Something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like that. The bridge. It's broken. Now you have to find him. Quick, get to the house. Get to the house and finish this trial. It doesn't finish until you get to the house. Before he disappears, Senua. You have to get in. speak of a death moon, a light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm, and first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. But that is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, to me. Where are you? I'm here. I'm right here. Are you in there? Come out if you want. Find him. You have to find him. Dillian! Go to him. Go 
to him. He's trying to save me. There it is. Huh? It's no. close. Right now. Shano! What happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just... people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. It doesn't make them true. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. Without you, this darkness has made me a monster. What if this is pointless? What if you're wrong? What if this has nothing to do with the sword? What if we're wrong? The sword will never be wrong. <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. It's just a pointless test. You've been fooled before, you could be fooled again. Being tested. You don't know. It's just their game for you. You never. 
rather know which way it's going to I want to tell you a story <laughs> about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Dillian, there he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Where Don't is he? Find. Where's he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's not in, in this, this world. world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. The dark. He's the reason she keeps fighting. Senwa. You've got it. Isn't he here? He's gone. He's in the dark world. He's gone to the dark world. You're in the wrong world. He's in the other world. The dark world. Without you.
gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. Special. She thinks she that of Zinbel and her past. They mean nothing. And Dillian. Special. Her future. Two realities. The gods are just tearing at her soul. What if the gods are laughing? Messing with her. It wouldn't be the first time. a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, is there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking pollen. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Huth is slain. Nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. 
She felt safe in Dillian's arms. Had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. Very careful. You've got this mile, don't let him slip away. It's a narrow, narrow bridge. Good. And there's a long way to fall. No! Oh, no! 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 Genoa, your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world that you and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares? Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I know. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. You're disappearing one memory at a time. Every time you remember, it disappears. They're going to take everything. They're not yours anymore. They're going to take everything you have. The memories of God.